In this lesson, we are going to develop the mean and the standard deviation of x bar, our sample mean. How do we get a sample mean? A sample mean comes from drawing a random sample, x1, x2, up to xn, from a population. And in this particular case, we are going to say that the mean of every random variable in the parent population is equal to mu, and the standard deviation of every random variable in our parent population is equal to sigma. Under that scenario, we want to find what the mean and the standard deviation of x bar are. First of all, how do we get x bar? We get x bar by adding up each of our random variables that we selected from our random sample, and we divide by our total sample size n. The question is, first question is, is x bar a random variable? Well, the answer is yes. If we draw a random sample of size n from our parent population, we compute the sample mean, we get a particular number. Now let's draw another random sample from our parent population, recompute that sample mean. Will the two sample means from our two samples be the same? Most likely not. Our sample mean will vary from sample to sample depending on which n random variables we select from our parent population. So x bar is a random variable. It varies from sample to sample. Therefore, x bar will have some distribution with some mean and some standard deviation. Under our current scenario where we know the mean of every random variable in our parent population and we know the standard deviation of every random variable in our parent population, we can compute the mean and the standard deviation of x bar. So let's do that. Let's start with the mean of x bar. The mean of x bar. Remember, this mu here stands for the mean of a random variable. Up here we have the mean of a random variable from our parent population equals mu. This is not mu, it stands for the mean of our random variable. Down here we are computing the mean of our sample mean. Here I have just substituted in what the sample mean is. We are finding the mean of the random variable 1 over n times the quantity x1 up to xn. This is just a linear combination of random variables. From the properties of linear combinations of random variables, we know that the mean of a linear combination of random variables, 1 over n is just a constant, so we can bring that out in front, 1 over n times the mean of the random variable x1 plus x2 all the way up to plus, plus xn. This equals 1 over n times the mean of x1 plus the mean of x2 plus the mean of xn. What is the mean of x1? The mean of x1 is mu. The mean of x2 is also mu. And the mean of xn is mu. How many mu's do we have? We have n of them. Our n's cancel. And we have that the mean of x bar is just equal to the mean of our parent population. And we've computed the mean of our sample mean. Now let's compute the standard deviation of our sample mean. To get the standard deviation of x bar, we want to first compute the variance of x bar and then at the end take the square root to get the standard deviation. Here we have the variance of the sample mean equals the variance of the value that the sa sample mean equals, 1 over n times the quantity times the sum of all of our random variables. Again, using the property of linear combination of random variables when computing the variance, we know that this equals 1 over n quantity squared times the variance of the sum of our random variables. Assuming that our random variables are independent, we have that this equals 1 over n squared times the variance of x1 plus the variance of x2 plus the variance of xn. What is the variance of x1? It's sigma squared. What's the variance of x2? Sigma squared 
What's the variance of xn? It is also sigma squared. How many sigma squareds do we have? We have n sigma squareds. So this simplifies to sigma squared over n. And we find that the standard deviation of x bar is equal to sigma over the square root of n. We got this by taking the square root of our variance. So in summary, if in our parent population the mean of n every random variable equals mu and the standard deviation of n every random variable equals sigma, if we take a random sample of size n from that parent population and, and each draw is independent, an independent sample, we find that the mean of the sample mean is equal to mu and the standard deviation of our sample mean equals the standard deviation of the parent population divided by the square root of our sample size. So as the sample size increases, the standard deviation of our sample mean will, be, will decrease. And the center of our sample mean will always be the center of our parent population. Let's take this problem a step further. Now, in addition to knowing the mean of every random variable from our parent population and the standard deviation of every random variable from our parent population, let's also now assume that the distribution of each of those random variables is normally distributed. So each random variable from our parent population is normally distributed with mean mu and standard deviation sigma. We want to know what is the sampling distribution of x bar. Well, from what we previously did just a minute ago, we know that the mean of x bar will be the same as the mean of our parent population. The center of the distribution of our sample mean will be the center of our parent population. We also know that the standard deviation of our sample mean will be equal to the parent population's standard deviation divided by the square root of n. Now, because the parent population is normally distributed, we can figure out what the distribution of our sample mean is. So again, let's write our sample mean as 1 over n times x1 plus x2 plus xn. This is a linear combination of normal random variables. We know that a linear combination of normal random variables will also be normal. So the distribution of x bar will be normally distributed. So we now have that x bar will be normally distributed. The mean will be mu from this fact right here. And the standard deviation will be sigma over the square root of n. So this is true if our parent population is normally distributed and we now have the sampling distribution of x bar. Recall, we said that x bar is a random variable. We draw a random sample, we compute the sample mean, we get a particular value. We take another random sample, compute the sample mean, we get a different value. The distribution of the variability and of x bar will be normal. The center will be at mu. And the standard deviation will be the standard deviation of the parent population divided by the square root of the sample size.